Hey guys, welcome to Skilllink. In one of our previous videos, we discussed a type of springs called steel springs. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description below. In today's video, we'll be talking about the next type of spring called the rubber spring. By now, many off-road enthusiasts would recognize this. But most of us would be unaware of these rubber springs. It's nothing but a part of a suspension system with intrinsic properties which results in a smoother ride. But don't worry, we'll talk about them in detail. Like coil springs, the rubber springs are also subjected to compression. It can be used as the main suspension spring, or it can be fixed along with the steel springs to improve the suspension characteristics. These rubber springs actually store more energy per unit weight than other spring materials and a considerable amount of weight can be saved overall in a vehicle. Now, to improve the stiffness of the springs against maximum deflection, large rubber bump stops are being used in many suspension setups. The usage of rubber springs is wide because of its advantages. The rubber springs can be made into any desired shape and they do not require any lubrication. These rubber springs are installed between the frame and the top link of the suspension system. It's connected to the frame in such a way that it is near the pivot link. So when there is a high deflection, the rubber spring reduces the deflection without affecting the wheel movement. After the deflecting load is removed, the energy released from the rubber springs is actually lesser. This internal loss of energy is called hysteresis. This hysteresis is the lag between the input and output rate. Since the rubber springs experience a lot of deflection, it may tend to deform permanently. So, during initial stages of service, allowance must be provided for them. Rubber springs are not suitable for carrying heavy loads. Instead, they are used as bushings, spacers, cushions, stoppers, and other kinds of support for the suspension system. So, depending upon the load carrying capacity, rubber springs are of different types. Let's just list them down. The first out of their lot is the compression spring. It's followed by compression shear spring, steel reinforced spring, progressive springs, phase shear spring, and finally, torsional shear spring. The usage of these rubber springs are wide because of its advantages over the other springs. So, let's list down all the advantages of the rubber springs. As we previously mentioned, rubber springs store greater energy per unit weight than steel springs. The spring system can be made in a more compact size and it offers good vibration damping properties. Unlike steel springs, there is no squeaking sound in rubber springs and the bearing required for rubber springs are less. When compared to steel springs, the life of the rubber springs will last longer and no special maintenance like lubrication is required. So that's it for this video guys. In the upcoming days, we'll be posting more videos related to suspension. So stay tuned. Until the next one, bye.